Arlene Jackson knows on a hot afternoon, a small gesture can have a big impact. This is some nice cold fruit punch. So for years, she's fed the homeless in her small town, Paris, California. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. And you're still That's walking love. around. That's love. And because several men in her family were military, she has a special soft spot in her heart for the many homeless vets in town. I take the good with the bad. And I live life. Just to see them on the street, they're hungry. Uh, have no place to sleep. I want to do what I can to help. So this 60 year old travel agent had a brainstorm. Build two houses for vets with nowhere to go. Believe me, we're about ready for our vets. And this is the fourth bedroom. Together, the houses have seven bedrooms, five bathrooms, and one jacuzzi tub. I want something that I would like myself for them. I want something nice and comfortable. Comfort comes at a price, a total of $300,000 for both houses so far. I took a line of credit on my house. I sold my stocks with Prudential. I um, cashed in some of, most of my annuity. It's her passion, her obsession really, and she says it's worth it. But with construction delays and permit problems, she needs $40,000 more to finish. So she's applying for grants, collecting donations, and praying for a financial miracle. First of all, I need you to go over here to pray, <laughs> to pray. Arlene's pastor, John Hopkins, says the houses will be an answered prayer for the vets. So many of our men and women uh, who defend our country come and back and they have a struggle. They're struggling out on the streets and the numbers are staggering. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs estimates that nationwide 150,000 veterans are homeless. Many of them live in fear. You never know if some stupid idiot's going to come up to you and uh, stick you in your sleep. Most of them feel forced onto the margins of American life. Oh, it's very hard. Uh, I'm not employed right now. I'm living on Social Security. For now, Navy veteran Aaron Stafford's $800 Social Security check pays for a temporary room. But Aaron worries that his luck and his finances may run out. Arlene showed him her houses. I think God has blessed her. She's doing great work for her community. Getting ready for my vets to come. So Arlene Jackson keeps plugging away, hoping she can open her houses soon. Would you think you could benefit in living in a place like this, brother? Giving struggling vets a new home and a fresh start. Brandon Scott, CBS News, Paris, California.